Hi everyone, you're welcome to Verbal Reasoning Class. I am Mrs. Olainka. In today's Verbal Reasoning Class, we're talking about sequences of action. Sequences of action. That's the topic for today, sequences of action. Okay, at the end of this class, I will expect you to be able to explain sequences of action to me, and then you should be able to write sentences in their sequential order. Explain sequences of action, write sentences in their sequential order. Now, what is sequences, sequences of action? This is when a series of events, things and ideas follow one after another. Series of events, things and ideas follow one after the other. When this happens, we refer to it as sequence of action of events. That's when series of action, series of things follow one after the other. I'll be showing you some examples and then you understand what I'm trying to see when there's a sequence, when there's a way the, the, the sentences ought to come up. You can see the picture I have here, the sentence. So after they have arranged the blocks, you can see the, the sentence coming out clearly. Supposing it was not done sequentially, this word sentence will not be able to come out for everybody to see. But because the blocks we are, we are sequentially arranged, that was why the word sequence or sentence was able to come out clearly so when you arrange words in the normal order it should, it should be arranged then it will be balanced that will cause sequences of action now i have a sentence here i have an example there are three sentences but i want you to write them in their sequential order the way they ought to be the first one says i got off the bus i paid the fare i boarded the bus i got off the bus i paid the fare i boarded the bus now they have been scattered. When I we need you to I need you to arrange them so that they can make a correct correct meaning and a correct correct sense. So I have done that for you, and then we'll look at it together. The first one ought to be I bothered the boss. That's the last one they used here, supposed to be the first one. I bothered the boss. I paid the fare. That's supposed to be the second one. And then I got off the bus. That's the third one. So you have to board the bus first, pay the fare before you can get down from the bus. So you can see now that this is well arranged here. Is that okay? All right, let me give you another example. I congratulated him. John got an admission. He told me the news. I congratulated him. John got admission. He told me the news. Somebody want to help me arrange it? Okay. What should be the first one? John got admission. Good. That is the first one. John got admission. John got admission. Okay. The next one will be what? He told me the news. He told me the news. He told me the news. Okay. Now, what do you think will be the third one? That is the last one. Being the one up, I congratulated him. So you can see that that is the sequence which it should have followed. Instead of it coming from number three, coming to one, and then coming to two. So this is a correct sequence. John got an admission. He told me the news. I congratulated him. Okay. Let me show you the best picture of sequencing. So you tell me which one was supposed to come first. Look at him working. But the picture, the, 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 the window here shows that it's not during the day. So he's doing his assignment here. The bus is coming back. Okay. He's waking up in the morning. That's the son here is doing his work in the class during the day. Then he wants to go and sleep. The son is going away already. And then he's coming back from the son is going already, he's coming back from school. The son is coming out, he's going to school. Okay, so how do we arrange it? I woke up in the morning, went to school. Okay, did his classwork in the class. 
came back from school in the bus, did his assignment, and now he's about to go to bed. Okay. Is that okay? Good. Woke up in the morning, took the school bus and go to school, go to class and did his assignment, class as classwork. This bus returning him back home. He got home and did his assignment, and now he wants to sleep. That's the picture sequence. Now let's have another one here. My cat saw a dog. The cat ran. The cat climbed up a tree. My cat saw a dog. My cat ran. He climbed up a tree. Let's have the first way. You can actually write the sentence in three different ways. And they are all correct. Now the first way I have written it is after my cat saw a dog, he ran and climbed a tree. Okay, that means it has been arranged the way the sentence came out. After my cat saw a dog, he ran and climbed the tree. Now the second one says, My dog ran. That's, that means this one is coming first, number two is coming first. My dog ran after the cat. That's number two, number one. That climbed the tree. Number three. So we have two, one, three. This one says two, one, three. This one says one, two, three. Okay, let's look at the third one. What does, how does it go? My cat ran. My cat ran. That's two. And climbed the tree. That's three. He climbed the tree. That's three. That's three. When he saw a dog, that's one. Okay. Can you see now that this particular sentence here can actually come up in three different forms? One, two, three. Two, one, three. Two, three, one. Can you see that the sequencing over there? Very beautiful. Now, in conclusion, sequencing sentences can be arranged sequentially. This is only when the sentence will convey its complete meaning. That is the only time the sentence will convey its complete meaning when it's arranged sequentially. Now let's have this question here. What is sentence sequence? What is sentence sequence? Anybody want to answer that question quickly? What is sentence sequence? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good. Sentence sequence. All right. Now let's rewrite this sentence in their sequential order. Let's write this sentence in their sequential order. He conquered, he came, he saw. He conquered, he came, he saw. So which one is called should come first? He what? Conquered? No. He came. Yeah, came is correct. You have to come first before you can do any other thing. Then the next one was he, he saw, he saw it. You came, he saw, and then he conquered. Okay, so that, what is the number? What is the number? Okay, he came, that's one. He saw, he conquered. Three, one, two. Three, one, two. Okay. Thank you so much for your time and patience. I'm sure you have been able to learn something wonderful in today's class. I'll be sending your class activities tomorrow, and I expect you to do it very well. And if you have any question, you can send a mail to me or you call me on my line. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself. Enjoy the rest of the day. Bye.